Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk to you guys about the leather industry. Being of an Indian descent, I was totally shocked to see these facts about the leather industry and how Indians mistreat these animals so much. I have my phone here so I could just read off the facts. This is just from PETA. And these facts broke my heart and I really hope that leather consumption and the leather industry just comes to a halt. Uh, this is just like a couple of facts about the leather industry. So every year the global leather industry slaughters over a billion animals. That is one with nine zeros and that's more than that. That's more than a billion animals. That is just insane. Um, so leather primarily comes from either two countries, China or India. Um, most of it comes from China, but a lot of it does come from India. Um, so leather often comes from things like cows or dogs, cats, and even like exotic animals like alligators or ostriches. Like leather is literally you're wearing a the you're wearing something that once belonged to a dead animal. You're wearing something that that's just horrible. And these animals are often skinned alive. They're consciously breathing and uh yesterday I was watching a video um, where, um, uh, Livia Munn, a famous actress, was talking about how, like, the leather industry, like, slaughters these creatures, and how one particular animal was slaughtered, but his or her heartbeat was still going on for ten minutes after it was skinned alive. Ten minutes! And... Then, of course, the animal died, but isn't that such a frightening thought? It's just, it's ridiculous. Um, and it's really funny, because in, in my native country of India, these animals are revered. They're supposed to be revered, at least. We hold uh, cows and... Um, elephants to be so sacred why do Indians kill what they consider to be sacred why it doesn't make any sense and being of an Indian descent coming from India being born in India I am really embarrassed to call myself an Indian because of the treatment that they give to these animals and and in India I read a fact yesterday that cows are forced to march to slaughterhouses for days at a time often, often, and they are often dehydrated and malnourished or they don't have nourishment at all. But in order for them to keep on going, the people put um, red chili powder or red chili like or like um, red chilies or like a serrano peppers or whatever and tobacco in their eyes to wake them up if they have fallen unconscious to force them to continue on marching isn't that so heartbreaking those those cows have feelings they they know exactly what it is that that's gonna happen to them once they reach the slaughterhouse they know that the people they're around are not nice it seriously breaks my heart to read about the leather industry but it's so important that people know what leather is and where it comes from people are always showboating that oh my god like look at this leather purse I got that leather purse is literally torture for an animal it's literally death you're wearing death and it's just really, really sad. And uh, I'm trying to find, uh, okay. So within the US, leather often comes from cows who are used for meat and milk. 
yeah, so basically, again, you're adding insult to injury. You, you took, first, the cow was forced to go into the slaughterhouse. The, um, the, the female cow was forced to be raped, was raped, had her calf stolen from her, had her meat taken away from her, had her milk taken away from her, and now her skin is going to be taken away from her. And that is just disgusting. And I really, it really breaks my heart to read these facts to you guys, but it's so important that people know that leather and fur, and yeah, I'm going to do another video on fur, but leather is just so toxic and ugh, it's honestly disgusting cows oh yeah so cows are subject to cruel practices such as castration branding and dehorning imagine being a cow and having your horn ripped off broken off and imagine how much pain the cow would be in or branding imagine uh, someone like took like a really really sharp knife or whatever and wrote into you that is such a sickening practice it really breaks my heart and and that's basically all the facts that i wanted to tell you guys but there are a ton of facts on the PETA website i'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out but if you guys want something like fancy, go for fake leather, go for fake fur, go for fake versions of things because those don't have torture in them. Also, of course, try to make sure that this the thing that you're wearing wasn't made in sweatshop-like conditions. But more so, try to focus on not wearing things that have leather in them because they are literally torture, they are literally rape, they are literally slaughter of an innocent animal who was skinned either alive or dead. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to, t to share those facts about leather with you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this kind of depressing video. I really understand that it's not something that most people want to talk about or discuss, but it's so important and people need to stop promoting leather. I hope you guys in, found this video informational because that's that's kind of the purpose it served. Uh, if you liked what I talked about, or if you not like what I talked about, but if you yeah, if you like this video, please like it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's free and it really helps my channel grow. Uh, please comment and like and. I will see you next time. Bye.